G'day, I'm Ash, I hope you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome yourselves back to Tank Mechanic Simulator. It's been a little while since I ever touched this game. And I have been playing it a fair bit recently. I won't spin around just yet, but right in front of me we've got an M10, that is a client vehicle. And I thought that I'd show you around because I haven't touched this game in a very long while and a few days ago I decided to pick up this thing. And I was like, hmm, okay, let's see what has changed in the game. And well, there's quite a bit of new additions to the full release of the game. That being said, there are a couple of posts that have me excited to do content on the game because there are two particular vehicles, which I'll flash up on screen right now. Uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to those two vehicles and dedicating their own episodes to restoring and maintaining those particular vehicles, as well as putting them inside the museum collection, which I will show you here in a minute. Anyway, this is the M10. It's in a very, very unfinished state. We've got the office over there, we've got the same engine out of the M10, we need to restore this one, this is going to be an absolute pain. But hey, one thing I will note about the M10 is these little suspension mountings. Where I the actual suspension mount, the brackets we'll and the idle wheels, the way they work, the little pins in that go into there? making the full wheels, obviously you can see, imagine just the track is just sitting there. Apex? Those are Still evil nuts. little bastards, I had to hit them so many times with hammers and whatever. Let's not get, it, get started on the actual uh, in interior, okay, but... The interior was fine enough once you got all the parts open, but for some reason, when I was taking the hatch off this one, the particular screws would not come out, so I had to hit them with a bloody sledgehammer, which means I'm going to have to replace this part. Unfortunate, but hey, that's how you go. Yes, that is a KV-1 over there. That's another client's KV-1. You just have to repair this one and uh, press the go button. I loaded up my save from previously, uh, and obviously I played it a bit when I hadn't bit played it on channel for a long time. So just a bit of cosmetic things uh, going around there. And obviously, we've got this massive workshop now, so and it wouldn't be possible if it hadn't been for the fact that I'd used bolt. some of my upgrade points. Uh, and I think we've got everything in the game. Now, the last thing I picked up when I played on channel, I believe after I recorded the last video where I was restoring the Easy 8 Sherman, I picked up the parts and repair uh, area. That was good fun. I have no idea how to use this. I've customized it to my liking. I just wish that, why is there a bit of wood here? And, and I wish there was certain more customization options that need to be slightly cleaner. My OCD is going hella off. And uh, I should show you too inside the painting booth. Let's open her up. We have a Sturmgeschutz, I think three, maybe four. Uh, the 40 Alphs of G's, based on a Panzer IV chassis. Uh, we've been putting the primer on, and we need to obviously put all the other parts on, which I'm going to have to replace, because those are the only parts that we had at the time. So I'll probably outsource some of those parts and get them done to the same standard, but that will be going in the museum alongside some other vehicles when they come along too. Uh, I'll just show you outside quickly, because I find that's going to be particularly interesting. All right, welcome into the outside. Now, I did have two T-34s, but I bought one from the scrapyard over in that direction. And I started putting the parts from another T-34 on it. And I ran out of parts to put on this thing. As you can see, tank assembly, 39%. The other, the other T-34, 76, well, it was about 12% complete. So I've just put all the parts I could possibly put back on this thing. I'm going to do a full restoration of this eventually. But this is not a client uh, vehicle. The KV-2 over here in parking spot number three, I, I, I don't know why, uh, also is a client vehicle that's pointed directly at the roads. So any people who want to come visit, well, they're going to get greeted by a KV-2. Now, I do wish that this yard was actually more of a proper yard. Uh, I, I, can't, I want to be able to customize this area, to be able to clean it up. There's rubbish everywhere, and there's divots and potholes and mud. And I, I get that's accurate for an early established you know, workshop, but when you've got a workshop like this... You don't want to have a driveway like this because you're carrying all this mud and all this excess material inside. So having this area you know, maybe better maintained or have a better use for it, maybe we can go around and this mission is to clean it up. That would be fantastic fun indeed. If I go over here, we'll show you sort of this area over here. Right? Warning. No drinking while driving. And you can see it's just a mess everywhere. How, how was that conducive to, to like public property? I have no idea. Uh, but that's that's here and all there, and you've also got the tank mechanic signs and tank recovery signs and all sorts of stuff. It's just just messy and unorganised. I'll take you through to the museum now. We'll show you what the museum's up to. 
I've had fun with the museum. I just wish that I had more collectible items. Now, I never really did my main campaign playthrough. Obviously, I've, ha I've had to replicate what I had in the previous save back before this game came out. But what I had back then, essentially, was two tigers and a couple of other bits and pieces. I didn't have any of the collection. But anyway, here we are inside the museum. Bit of clipping with a land issue there. But yes, this is my panther. I've tried to paint it up as historically as possible as I can. I had a look at some of the Bo Bovington Tank Museum pictures, their Panther 5. And it looks somewhat similar. I don't think it's exactly correct. The paint system in this game needs a bunch of work. It's usable, but I don't think it's, you know, if you really want to get the authentic detail, it's, it's a little hard to get there. Obviously in the corner here, I have tried my best to replicate a Panzer 4. G from uh, the, the Panzer Divisions late 1944. It's really hard to get this paint scheme, you know, directly accurate one to one as, as picture to picture you possibly can. There should be another couple of paint specs just below uh, the idle wheel, wheels there. That's okay. Uh, we've got a Panzer 3M. Is, is this Panzer 3M? Yes, there's a Panzer 3M with a nice selection of just bits and pieces behind it. I wish there were more information panels. That'd be nice. And obviously you've got the uh, Schwer, it's not Schwerbe Panzer, what the hell is this thing called? Sitk uh, as I like to call it, Sitkovitz. Well, it's not a Pershing, I can tell you that much. <laughs> uh, this thing is the SDKFZ251. It's one of the APCs. Uh, there is another APC in the game. It's the M13, I think. But yeah, it's got a nice interior. It's 100% working. And all these vehicles in here are, are fully working. I haven't put any fluids in them yet, but they do exist and it will be interesting to see if I can take them out on the test drive. Now, we're actually going to bring out Mr. Tiger. I th or, hmm. we've, we've, we haven't driven the Tiger yet. In fact, we haven't even done the tr training room, or should I say driving room, or the live ammunition. It'd be fantastic to take that out. I might take the Panther out, so let's move the Panther into the workshop. Um, do that. We'll do that right now. Move tank move tank to workshop we will put the kv1 here temporarily all right good kv1 you stay there no it's not a panther it, it's a wannabe panther that's for sure but i guess for me i haven't really been playing this game because i just i don't know I lost interest in it despite it being one of the most popular games on the channel i think that that really helped my drive for it um <laughs> but yeah Side armor plate. Oh, yes, side skirts. Very, very, very thick side skirts. Okay. Assembly mode. Uh, we will go to analytics. Test drive options. Fluid manual. That one. Fill container one. Okay, here we go. Hold to fill. Apparently we are 100% already, okay. So we should be then good to just drive it then. All right, tank. Test drive. Uh, let's toggle the engine first. I guess, I, I wish you had to do this manually. Not bad. I feel like it should be putting out a little more smoke than that one, and you should have to have the door open. And obviously, the flywheel cover. There's a little hole there, so you're supposed to have a it's supposed to be an area where you can shove the crankshaft in, or else it just looks a bit odd. Right. I guess we go and go for a test drive, eh? Okay. We've got some sort of cylindrical water tube thing. Obviously, at the back of our facility, which explains the, I guess, the weird two-tone fence thing. So, this is our test drive range. Yeah, it's not really much of a test drive range, if I'm honest, guys. There's water every... Look, it's like protruding water, but there's not quite. It's, it's What the hell's going on here? It's like this bluish, tintish kind of stuff. H how is this a test drive area? You just drive up and then down this sort of ramp here and then go across some logs and then down out the other side. All right, if you say so, game. I'm kind of disappointed by that one because I haven't actually done a test drive in this. Right, so let's give it a go. 
it just shows you how long, like, it's been how many months? I can't even remember when I did the first video. All right. Let's get inside the commander slot. Here we are. Oh, I got an achievement. Uh, hop in. I mean, I hadn't done that one before. All right, we are going to switch to the gunner seat. Which again, does nothing. Another driver slot. Show tank controls. All right. Exit vehicle, toggle lights. Can we have a external view? All right. Is there anything else we can open in here? What, one thing I'm noticing is this driver apparently doesn't have pedals. How are we supposed to control a tank without pedals? Alright, here we go. Second gear. Right. Top of camera. Ah, oh, there we are. It's a bit loud. And the van apparently can't climb hills. Oh goodness me, this is rather clunky. Come on, just climb up the hill, please. Let's try again. Should have a reverse warning. Come on. How can I not climb this hill? There's no point in having a hill there if you can't use it. That's all I've got to say. Come on. Oh, I can see under the world now. Quality, quality game. I mean, while I did love this game at first, I do think that... See, unfortunately, uh, it hasn't done so well. It hasn't aged so well either. I don't see many people doing content on this game. It's all about the mechanic simulator rather than the driving simulator. If you wanted a driving simulator game, you'd probably go elsewhere. Can we ram it into the building? What do you mean we can't push our tank through the garage door? It's only like... Alright, fine. Museum, and uh, we're going to have to move him into tank, so... The one. That one. Right, there we go. We replaced him with the KV-1. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Okay, let's take the Tiger out to the test range. I want to be able to fire the gun and see what that sounds like. All right, welcome yourselves. Oh, this is the first time I've been here. I've seen the trailers about this. Oh my goodness, this is heaps better. I say heaps better. It's it's a lot better than what you'd, you'd assume. Oh, I love the car. Can I restore the car? Man, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> What's this, a Ford? I mean, I want to say it's a Ford 1932 model, but I, I, it could be even older than that one, 1927. I mean, it looks gorgeous, that, that thing. Well, hang on, we're, we're talking about tanks here. So, we've got a couple of US Army uh, shells here. We've got a fuel can, uh, a bucket. What else have we got here? Is there any tools that are laying around that we can use? There's a couple of Army tents, a watchtower. There's obviously a firing line. We can't necessarily drive out this way either. Tablets. Okay, we can have a challenge, we can have a supply, we can go back to workshop. Current tanks, tank select. We can have any one of the tanks that we had. Okay, interesting, that'll be fun. Is that it? We've got a hammer. Huh? That's kind of disappointing. Alright, let's have a look. Again, a lot of junk around just for no, no apparent reason. Alright, we want to go to the gunner slot. Right, toggle camera. Oh, it's just a, it's just literally a third person. Literally just a third person sort of camera. That's it? Oh my goodness, it's so janky too. You've got these boxy kind of shapes. It's not what the tiger sounds like. Oh my goodness, this is so janky. Let's go into the gun side. Is it any better? Right, that is super finicky. 
I zoom in or zoom out, there is no there's no way to range my targets. Not in this one, is there? No? Okay. Because usually you'd be able to select a dial and then... That's, that, that doesn't... I mean, it's cool and all. Boom. I like the little camera and everything like that one, but this thing should be heavily... Oh my goodness, that mouse movement. We hit the 750 meters on. That, 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 that's what I call a success. Boom, gone. Let's see if we can hit the, the other one. Wait for it to go back again. Three, two, one, five. Got the end of it. All right, how do we switch uh, shell types? Game? Switch am ammo types, okay. We've switched ammo, ammo types. Again, this is really bloody strange. I don't know why they've chosen here of all places. You can't necessarily drive your tank up to the actual proper shoot uh, shooting spot, I suppose. I guess that's a high explosive shell. <laughs> right, we have to toggle the engine, we'll have to drive forward, and then we'll have to go up to that podium as wanting us to go up there. But that's a quick look. Obviously, the only the world's running only running Tiger currently, and Tiger One is in is in Bovington Tank Museum. Although there is one hybrid tank uh, that's going to be coming out, I say coming out. Uh, they're looking to do a long-term restoration and have a operational Tiger from Battlefield Relic Parts. Although securing all the lights and licenses to that is going to be an absolute pain. Right. I tried stopping the vehicle, it's not stopping. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna have to use the sandbags as a bit of a stop. Oh, goodness me, there are really tanks out there. Okay, let's go into- Oh, goodness, what are you doing, gun? I didn't even tell you to move. There's a KV-1 on the field there. Whoa! So sensitive. There's no scroll functions, there's nothing. Alright. That's not going to go anywhere near. You'd have to aim all the way up here. I reckon to go all the way up that way. That's a little too high. What about there? Boom. Okay, a little bit lower. Almost there. Again, a, a more experienced Tiger Gunner would probably do a lot better job. But there you go. That's really what Tank Mechanic Sim is up to. Yeah, you continue to drive on your merry way there, Mr. Tiger. I don't think there's any way I can get go or drive... Oh, I could actually drive around here. So you could take it for a little bit of a lap and tour, and, and tour it around just over here and then tour it around over there as well. Bro, I don't necessarily see the point. Fire range is cool. The test drive is completely, utterly useless. The expanded workshop is nice. I'll give it that. Um, it's not really much else to say. Well, I'll be checking out Tank Mechanic Simulator again in the near future. Hopefully when the King Tiger and the Mouse come into game. We'll be doing a whole scenario repairing, rearming, and obviously probably even test firing and, uh, and driving them as well. Provided that you can actually drive the mouse. I don't know why you would. But anyway, my name is Ash. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.